Alrighty, oblique slash slant asymptotes. You can call it either way, and they will be called both ways as you progress through math and college and in calculus and whatever. They will be called oblique and slant, so just know that those two words are synonyms. I think that's the English word. <laughs> so they are interchangeable. Okay, they mean the same thing. Or no, synonyms. Never mind. I'm not an English teacher, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, when the degree of P of X, so the top, is exactly one more than the degree, the degree of Q of X, so the bottom. When the degree on top is one more than the top, or the degree on the bottom, the graph will have a slant or an oblique asymptote, okay? So to find the oblique or the slant asymptote, you have to either use long or synthetic division. Okay, division is not going away. I have told you this before, division does not go away. So you need to know how to use long and synthetic division. So say we have f of x equals x squared minus x minus 14 over x plus 4. Let's just find the oblique asymptote, okay? So I'm going to use synthetic division because we're dividing by x plus 4, and I can just change that so it's a negative 4 on the outside, okay? So I'm going to bring down that 1, multiply, add, multiply, add. Now, the only thing on this is you ignore the remainder. We just ignore the remainder. We don't care about it, okay? So my oblique asymptote here is y equals x minus 5. Simple as that. Okay, let's do this one. So the degree on top here is, again, one more than the degree on bottom. So let's use, we have to use long division on this one. So first we divide, first with first. So 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x. Multiply, you get 6x squared and 4x. Subtract, those both cancel. I'm left with negative 11. 3x doesn't go into negative 11, so that's my me. Wow, words are really hard. That's my remainder. So I just cancel that. I ignore the remainder, and my asymptote is y equals 2x. Okay? Now let's get into actually doing this. So we have x squared minus 9 over x. Now the degree on top here is one more than the degree on bottom. Sorry, I cannot talk. So there is an oblique asymptote. So we're going to use synthetic division on this. So if you can look at the bottom, you can think of that as like x plus 0. So we can just put 0 on the outside. And then we have 1, 0, and negative 9. Okay? Because we can think of this as x plus 0. Here we don't have an x, so you have to put 0x in for that. Okay? So that's 1, 0, negative 9. Bring down the 1. Multiply 0, 0, negative 9. Ignore the remainder, and we have an asymptote of y equals 1. So over here at that slant asymptote, I have y, sorry, what? y equals x, not 1, x, 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 x. Sorry. y equals x. So my slant asymptote is y equals x right there. Okay? Now I'm going to go through the same exact steps that I did last time to find everything else. So the x-intercept, that's where you set the top equal to 0. So we are going to factor top, and we're going to factor bottom. That top factors to x minus 3, x plus 3. The bottom is just x. So to find my x-intercepts, nothing cancels, so there's no holes. So find the x-intercept, set the top equal to 0. So we have x minus 3 equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0. So x equals 3 and negative 3. So my holes are 3, 0 and negative 3, 0. There's negative 3, 0. There's 3, 0. My y-intercept, that's when we're going to do f of 0. But now we're dividing by 0 here. You can't divide by 0, so there is no y-intercept. Okay? Vertical asymptote, that's where you set the bottom equal to 0. So that's just going to be x equals 0. Horizontal asymptote, the degree on top is greater than the degree on bottom. So if you have a slant asymptote, you are not going to have a horizontal asymptote. Okay? So there is none. There is also no holes. So we can graph this. That goes along that asymptote. Go kitty corner, and it goes along that right side. 
So that's going to be the top left quadrant and the bottom right quadrant. Okay. Now my domain here, negative infinity to zero, zero to infinity. My range goes forever, negative infinity to positive infinity. We didn't have a horizontal asymptote, so there's no definite breaks in that. Okay. Let's do another one. So we have 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 over x plus 1. The degree on top is 1 more than the degree on bottom. So again, I'm going to divide. I can use synthetic division to here. Sorry. Bring down the 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 5. 5. Negative 15. Ignore that. So that's going to be 2x minus 5. Remember, this is y equals mx plus b. Oh, I didn't graph it yet. We will graph that in just a second. So this is y equals mx plus b. So you would go mx plus b. This is your y-intercept, and this is your slope. Okay. I'm going to find everything first. So I'm going to find my x-intercept, my y-intercept, my vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, and the holes. And then I will graph all of this, okay? I remember making this PowerPoint, and I forgot to do it. So we're just doing it all at the end, which is fine. You can do it either way. So it's good to see both ways, okay? X-intercept, we have to set the top equal to 0. So I'm going to factor the top. So I get x minus 5, 2x plus 5. Set both of those equal to 0, and you get x equals 4, and x equals negative 5 halves, or negative 2.5. So that's going to be 4, 0, and negative 2.5, 0. Y-intercept, plug 0 in, so you get negative 20 over 1, which is negative 20. So that's going to be 0, negative 20. Vertical asymptote, set the bottom equal to 0, so that's x plus 1 equals 0, so x equals negative 1. Horizontal asymptote, follow the rules. The top is greater than the bottom, and we have a slant asymptote, so there is no horizontal asymptote. And there's no holes because nothing cancels. So uh, to graph this, let's graph our um, slant asymptote first. So remember, the y equals mx plus b. So that negative 5 is my y-intercept. So I'm going to go down to negative 5. Now my slope is 2, or you could do that 2 over 1. So you go up 2 over 1 up 2 over 1, and there is my slant asymptote. Okay, so it's just graphing that line. That's all it is. My vertical asymptote is x equals negative 1, so it's that right there. Now my y-intercept is 0, negative 20, so that's clear off our graph. We can't graph that part. But my x-intercepts are negative 2.50, so right there, and 4, 0, right there. Okay, from that, we can graph that. So it's the right side, so the right upper quadrant, and the left lower quadrant, if you could consider that lower. Okay, my domain here is negative infinity to negative 1, then negative 1 to infinity. My range is negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, we're going to save the last two, and again, I'm going to go over those in class because I think these are helpful to go over in class. Then you guys can ask me questions, and we can get all the um, everything cleared up if you're a little bit confused from this. Okay, so this is essentially the same as what we did last time, but the only difference is we're finding slant asymptotes. Okay? Um, yeah, remember to take the quiz. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.